Okay. KU Audio Reader started in 1971 in the Sudler House. In 1988, after a few years of broadcasting, Audio Reader transitioned into the renovated Phi Kappa Tau Fraternity House, where the program currently resides. Audio Reader is a listening program intended for anyone who is unable to read printed material. With a listenership that ranges in age from 10 to 100, the programs offered are quite diverse. I was never a big reader of newspapers, quite honestly. Now I can listen to the UDK, uh, I can listen to the Orient, which is the faculty staff news. They just now started reading the Kansas Alumni Association magazine. So that's connected me to KU professionally. And uh, I don't know what people would do if they didn't have some type of um, way to get information. And a big part of being an active listener at Audio Reader is requesting special items. These items range from research documents to massage therapy textbooks. The sky is the limit when requesting material to read. Anyway, the particular book that I uh, asked Audio Reader to read for me was still on, is still on the market as far as I know, and that, it, that book is entitled um, The Little White Horse. I opened that CD, it started to play, and I, have to, I sat there whole night I, I did not sleep a wink. Audio Reader has helped listeners adapt to new technologies such as the internet by providing information and training in the usage of these technological advancements. One of these technological advancements is a program named JAWS. It is a helper program designed to allow print impaired people access to computers and online information. I'm Susan Tabor who also works over at Audio Reader, and uh, she's now coming down. We're meeting once a month, and she's kind of giving me her expertise of uh, how, to, how to get on JAWS, and because she's been blind since birth, and she's used JAWS since a long time ago, so she's kind of helped me with that as well. So it's kind of branched out, not just from Audio Reader, it's all the other different resources that you might be able to get in touch with. One of the main components to Audio Reader is the live broadcast that occurs daily. Listeners are given a specially licensed radio that receives a broadcast from Audio Reader. Listeners have a guide that informs them of the regular live shows. The tabletop and you know, all different kinds of things, and that really is what I do. I have a transistor on my um, desk here and that I can listen to, but as you know, those are live during that time. But if you go on the phone, you can hear anything, anytime. Along with the live broadcast, Audio Reader offers a telephone service that users can call into at any time to play select material. Yes, I just didn't realize many facets of what it does, but I think what, what I do and what I use almost every day is the telephone service in which at lunch or early morning or late night I can dial in and I can hear the Lawrence Journal World, I can hear the Topeka Capital Journal, I can hear uh, Washington Post, I can hear whatever. All of the reading in Audio Reader is completed by unpaid volunteers. Readers range from age 11 to 90 years old. Despite all the differences, all readers share in the appreciation that listeners give to their service. You know, for example, today uh, I got on at lunchtime to listen to the UDK, which I always try to listen to a little bit earlier, but they don't uh, read the UDK live. So it's just whenever they get those individuals to come over during their break times. And I might add that a lot of students are reading the UDK now, so that's kind of fun. But kind of listening to Lawrence people read the free-for-all is, is fun, too, because uh, you have the hesitation in their voice to, to read the free-for-all. So you can, you can, from that, you can well imagine that the quality of volunteers here, the audio readers, how good they are when they read um, uh, materials. But I have to say, um, all of the volunteers are very good. As listeners use this service, they become part of a diverse family. The Audio Reader Network, as it is called, leagues several people together in appreciation of the printed word. Speaking of atmosphere, we just, you know, like, uh, we, we, we've talked about this, but what, uh, what making the atmosphere so warm and friendly was not just this house or this sensory garden, but I think that the staff members who work here. These friendships are more than just namesake. A recent example is a party that was held to celebrate the completion of a listener's dissertation. But I think, I told Jennifer, Ms. Nigro, that when I get a professorship, I would definitely <laughs> donate uh, whatever I can donate to the Gordia readers because they are doing some wonderful work here. Comfort is not something that is only broadcast. Listeners and volunteers alike are welcomed by fresh snacks and a beautifully landscaped sensory garden. 
The sensory garden is designed to be easily accessible and features plants of various textures and smells. The garden also features the sounds of wind chimes and wildlife. It is a garden where people of all abilities can experience the beauty of nature. Uh, I think the other really neat thing about Audio Reader, which a lot of people don't know about, is the um, garden that they have in the back. Uh, and I forget what they call that, but you can go out and smell the different flowers and uh, touch them. I, I think it's great and uh, I hope KU continues to have it and if they don't, then somebody else will pick it up and continue to, to do it. The one thing that will never change at Audio Reader is the commitment to the print disabled. This commitment is met with great excitement and appreciation by all the listeners. Um, it is a huge source. So I would just say, don't stop. That would be my evaluation of that. You know, keep going. Um, I know that they um, uh, rely a lot on donations and volunteers and things like that. And I'm just amazed um, that they continue to do what they do. Um, all of the people devote their energy and effort in their own ways and as, as best as they could with their ability, abilities and I think that's what we sh as a listener as a one of the listeners I, I honor, honor that.